many female classical musicians who faced seemingly insurmountable challenges in the male-dominated world of music. Yet from the earliest 12th century, musical compositions of Hildegard von Bingen in Germany to the masterful conducting of Marin Alsop here in the United States, have shown that women wielded a powerful influence on classical music as composers, performers, and conductors. Women like 17th century composer, lutenist, and teacher Francesca Caccini became one of the most influential European composers. Though not much of her music survives today, her stage work, La Liberazione di Ruggero, is considered the first opera by a woman. Fanny Mendelssohn, whose famous brother Felix composed the oft-played Wedding March, was one of the most prolific and brilliant female musical talents of the 19th century. She composed more than 460 works. A number of her works were originally published under Felix's name. Composer Amy Beach's exquisite music led her to become America's first successful female composer in the late 19th century. Her first major success, Mass in E-flat Major, performed in 1892, catapulted Beach into the position as one of America's foremost composers. This was not only a crowning achievement for her career, it was a turning point in the advancement of women's music, as it was the first piece composed by a woman that was performed by the most conservative music organization in the country. During the first half of the 20th century, British cellist Beatrice Harrison gave some of the first performances of important English works. French composer, conductor, and teacher Nadia Boulanger taught many of the leading composers and musicians of the 20th century, including Aaron Copland, Quincy Jones, and Philip Glass. She was also the first woman to conduct many orchestras in America, including the Boston Symphony and New York Philharmonic. As these and countless other female musicians overcame barriers to share their musical talent with the world, they also forged a pathway for other brilliantly talented women musicians to do the same. 2016 Women Making History honoree Christine Walewska is one of those women. One of only five renowned female cellists in the world and the only living one, Christine Walewska's meteoric rise to prominence began when she gave her first international concert at 18 years old. Her performance caught the eye of Los Angeles music critic Patterson Green, who wrote, She parallels on the cello the single persuasiveness of Fritz Kreisler on the violin. Within two years, she won a scholarship to study with the great Maurice Marichal at the Paris Conservatory. Two years later, she became the first American ever to win first prize in cello and chamber music. In her more than 30-year career giving concerts across the globe, Walewska has played with orchestras throughout Germany, the United States, France, in every corner of Spain, Poland, Mexico, Central and South America, the Stockholm Philharmonic, the Israel Philharmonic, and lately concerts in China and Hong Kong. Composer Ennio Bolognini asked that only Walewska play his music, and Christine was personally inspired by his wife Dorothy, also a talented cellist and instructor. Born in Los Angeles, Christine Walewska, like Nan Earl, started playing music at seven years old. Her parents, who both played violin, encouraged and inspired her interest in music. Her true calling was for the cello, which her father began to teach her when she was eight. From then on, Walewska took lessons from the most world-renowned cellist. One of those instructors was the son-in-law of the Baroness Germaine de Rothschild, he recommended that Christine study at the Paris Conservatory and personally asked the Baroness to contact her upon her arrival. The Baroness regularly invited Christine to her home for gatherings with famous philosophers, musicians, and artists. At 13, Walewska performed with the National Symphony Orchestra of Washington, D.C. At 18, she began her career throughout Germany, where she played 45 concerts and then traveled across Europe and Asia, ending her tour in Brazil. One of her proudest moments as a musician came when she was invited by Fidel Castro to perform, making her one of the first Americans to perform in Cuba. She toured for a month, visiting various cities and inspired Castro to create more music programs for the youth, which led to the formation of an orchestra composed entirely of Cubans. Walewska settled in Buenos Aires following her time in Cuba, where she further developed her career and also married Argentinian pianist Manuel Reno. Throughout her remarkable career, Walewska also understood the importance of inspiring the next generation of female talent and has advised young girls around the world 
like the female musicians who came before her, Walewska's rich musical career and achievements have made it possible for other women to reach great heights in the music world. Please welcome to the stage 2016 Women Making History honoree, Christine Walewska.